Hey folks, Jeremy here, Fix My Wi-Fi. Today we're going to be answering a question put by the user Curly Sphinx on Reddit in r slash home networking. Um, Curly Sphinx wanted to have some additional security for when guests are coming into the home and he wants to give them Wi-Fi access and Curly Sphinx was asking, can I add a second router? Is that going to give me the extra security that I'm looking for? The short answer, uh, no. It isn't and um, adding a second router really isn't the right way to do these things. The very easiest way to make your router more secure is to do two things. Um, one, and this is really obvious, is put in a really difficult to guess password. The easiest way to do that is to think of a phrase from a song or a book or a TV show that you know and then start doing a bit of capitalization, start substituting letters for symbols, so dollar signs instead of S's, misspell something maybe, um, songs are good for that, um, and you, know, you can start putting in special characters and just make it long and hard to guess. But if it's a phrase, it's easier for you to remember. The other thing you can do is change the username that is used to get access to a router. Normally, on most devices, it's admin or root. Um, so if you can change it from, from admin, not all routers allow you to do it. But if you can change it from admin to something else, then there you go. That's another bit of security um, and stops people accessing your router. The other thing you can do, and I would absolutely say do this, is make sure you have encryption turned on. The kind of version you want is WPA2 dash AES, that's the best kind of encryption there is on a wireless network. And also, if you look in the admin settings, you want to find something called WPS. Now that's that thing whereby you push a button on the router and then you push a button on your printer and they talk to each other and connect. Turn that off. That is a security hole. So those are the things, the easy things you can do to make that router more secure. Now. Can you add additional hardware to um, increase the security? Yes. Why doesn't adding a second router do it? To get into that, we'll cover a little about <clears throat> what routers are actually doing, what they're, what they're designed for in your home network. Now, obviously you've got your internet connection. That could be coming in. Cable, ADSL, doesn't matter. Home router. There it is, wireless router, and then all of your devices on the inside. Now, what a router does in networking terms is it acts as a border or edge device. That's what routers do. They create a border between, in this case, the internet and your private home network. So outside bad, inside good. Um, so inside you've got your smartphones, your laptops, smart TVs, all those different things connecting here, and they communicate to the internet via the router. The router routes traffic. So why not add a second one? It does do some stuff, uh, you know, the security stuff as well, firewalling. So it's, it's a number of devices in one. It's a router, a firewall, and a wireless access point. So why not add a second router? Surely that gives you more security. No, not really. Because all you're doing if you add a second router, let's just say you get two of exactly the same type, um, and that second router, you connect to the main one via Ethernet, and there you are, second router. What have you done? You've just created another border. And this router is the border between this network and the anything that is connected behind it. So whether it's stuff connected on Ethernet or um, the other wireless network that you've called it, all you've got is another network. Now, why isn't that giving you any more security? Well, because to get to the internet, the stuff that most people are connecting to, to wireless routers for, they've got to go via your main router. And if they have to go via your main router, that means they can connect to it, that means they can possibly find the admin login page and then log into it. Now, the username and password stuff is going to get you way more security than adding 
a second router. So in a home network, you don't really want another border area, separate area. That's not what you're trying to do. And it's not giving you the security of, it's not protecting this in any greater way than anything else. Um, certainly not any more than changing, you know, and creating a nice strong password. Now, you may think, okay, well, I definitely want more than just a difficult to guess password. What do I do? Now, there are two ways you can go about this. You can spend a little bit of money and a lot of time um, and deploy uh, another access point. That access point, what an access point does is it sits on your network and it doesn't do any routing. All it's doing is providing additional access. Now, these are the kind of things you might add, you know, an extra access point in the home or in an office to get increased coverage in, a, in an area that the main wireless router access point doesn't cover. Now, that AP could be created from some off-the-shelf hardware, you can buy on Amazon, Best Buy, wherever it may be, wherever your preferred supplier is, from all kinds of manufacturers like TP-Link, D-Link, Netgear, um, all those kinds of people. Now, all of the routers that they sell, these sort of $50 to $120 routers, a lot of them have the same hardware inside. And because a lot of them have the same hardware inside, um, some very, very smart people have created third-party firmware. You may have done a firmware update on your, on your router, you know, you download a file from, from the support site, um, you upload it to the router and click upgrade and it's upgraded. Now, you can actually get this third-party firmware and there are two main types. Or it is OpenWRT and DDWRT. Now, do a search for those on the, on the internet. Um, on both of those sites, on those support sites for those pieces of firmware, you'll find lists of devices that you can put um, this firmware on. Now, some of them will be routers, some of them will be access points. What this firmware does is unlocks a lot more functionality that is um, there in the hardware that a lot of these devices share, but is turned off because you just, most homes don't need this complexity. Nevertheless, you can open it up um, and apply that firmware and have some advanced configuration. The main thing you're looking to do, Curly Sphinx, is create a secure hotspot. Now, you're going to want two things in that configuration, and you can do it with OpenWRT or DDWRT. You're going to want to create a separate VLAN, and you're going to want to create a hotspot. Now, I'm not going to go into those um, things in detail, but that's the functionality you're looking for. Um, like I say, low cost, but you are going to have to spend a lot of time um, testing, changing configurations, and if if that kind of thing is is your bag and that excites and, and interests you, like me, then you'll love doing that. Or it could just be um, a total nightmare. Now, if you'd rather <clears throat> throw money at it and make life easier, you can go two ways. You can either just pay someone to do it. Um, so you find your local small business networking place. They should have an engineer who'd be able to come and do that. But you're looking at sort of $500,000, maybe more, including the hardware. Um, or you can buy a piece of off-the-shelf kit. If you do a search for um, hotspot service, you'll find companies that will sell you a piece of hardware and for a monthly fee, manage it for you. You can say, okay, I want the network name to be this, I want security or I don't want security. They can log in with a password or they just have to put their email in and away they go. That device should have security in there that will prevent anyone connected to that hotspot service seeing anything on your, on your router. Now, you'll have to make you know, some configuration changes. You'll, likely have to change the original router to something more advanced as well. But, you know, it's possible that you can buy these things off the shelf and someone will manage it for you for a monthly fee. Uh, the other thing you can do is um, you can buy a piece of kit that has 
cloud management, we call it. Now, there are a couple of um, sort of companies out there that do that. Um, one is Meraki. It's a pretty simple interface. You do have to learn some stuff, but it's relatively simple and you can get support with it. But you're looking at sort of 400 to up to $2,000, $3,000 for that piece of hardware. Um, you've also got Ruckus um, who have a similar kind of service. And again, I would recommend buying that from your local sort of small business company so they can give you some support on it as well. Um, but that will definitely, those devices will definitely give you the extra security and the functionality that you're looking for. So in summary, two routers, no, it's not going to give you any major benefit. The quickest benefit is if you can change the username from admin or root to something else and obviously have a secure password. Um, and then after that, you're looking at adding uh, another access point or secure hotspot device, which um, you can either spend a little bit of money, spend a lot of time, or you can spend a little bit of time and a lot of money. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. If anyone's got any questions, comments, um, respond on Reddit or on the YouTube link. And um, also on Twitter, we've got um, at FixMyWiFi. Awesome. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch the video. Talk to you all again soon.